Hello and welcome to Taste in a Bladder. In today's video, we are going to make some crab apple jelly. It is a very simple recipe with just three ingredients. Crab apples, sugar and water. Please plan ahead if you are giving it a try because it does require some time and effort. If you got a big batch of crab apples, uh, do have your canning supplies ready so you can preserve them. The beauty of making crab apple jelly at home is it doesn't require any additives, uh, no preservatives except sugar, no coloring agents and no thickening agents. The first step in making crab apple jelly is to make sure your apples are clean. You can pick the apples, wash, rinse and use them directly. You can also cut off the stem and the blossom end. I'm only taking off the stems here. You can freeze apples overnight like I did here. Freezing actually helps in extracting maximum juice out of apples. Crab apples are very tart when you eat them fresh and they contain a lot of pectin. Pectin is a naturally occurring carbohydrate which acts as a thickening agent. It is mostly concentrated on the skin and the core and that is one of the reasons I prefer to just cut off the stem and use the whole apple. You can actually use any kind of fruit juice to make jellies. Uh, to check if the juice is, uh, has, just has enough uh, pectin to make the jelly, take a teaspoon of juice, add 3 quarter of a teaspoon of Epsom salt, add half teaspoon sugar, stir until sugar dissolves completely, let it sit for 5 minutes and test it and you will see jelly formation. Now that the apples are getting ready, let's talk about the second step. The second step involved is to extract apple juice and for that we have the apples in a heavy bottom pan and we are going to add enough water to cover the apples. Now let's talk about flavoring crab apple jelly. If you prefer to add any spices to enhance the flavor of the crab apple jelly, this is the right time to do it. And for that I am using a cinnamon stick. You can also use cloves, star anise or any other herbs. Do not add any powdered spices as it would make the jelly cloudy. So let's start cooking. Bring the apples to a boil and leave it for 30 to 40 minutes on medium heat and uh, you can strain the liquid. Here after 30 minutes I actually am uh, stirring the apples. I want to make sure that I get maximum out of these apples. So I'm going to give it another 20 minutes on low flame. Now that it is ready, let's strain and separate the juice. Just to make sure I have clear juice, I'm going to strain it twice. Here I'm using a strainer. I'm going to strain it through this. Excuse me, it doesn't look very appetizing at this point, but wait for the end result.
Do not overwork it, just give it enough time to separate the juice. Now we can see the juice, it has got a very bright color and uh, now I'm going to strain it a second time using a cheese cloth. If you're doing this alone, uh, I recommend you use some clips to secure or uh, you can actually tuck the cheese cloth, the lengthy side of it, under the ball that you're using so that it won't fall off or make sure you have somebody around to ask for help. Now the juice is looking much clear and uh, again I am in love with that color. The next step in the process is to boil the juice and uh, bringing it to the right consistency by adding sugar. So you do not have to let your juice set or cool down. You can start it right away by taking a heavy bottom pan and we are going to measure the juice right now. This helps in deciding how much sugar is needed for the recipe. I got around 4 cups of juice and it's time to bring it to a boil again. The juice is looking warm enough to add sugar, the ratio is 1 is to 1 which means for every 1 cup of juice you must be adding 1 cup of sugar. If you are having health concerns you can definitely reduce the amount of sugar uh, but considering the fact how tart crab apples are it is better to go with the 1 is to 1 ratio. Now give it a good stir and bring it to a rolling boil and leave it there for 20 minutes with occasional stirring. Now the last 10 minutes we're going to boil it even harder and be careful not to boil over. Uh, skim off any foam you see to make sure your jelly is clear. Now to check the consistency, um, you can take a teaspoon of this mixture and keep it over an ice bath and you will see the jelly formation. Now the jelly is ready, here I am taking an extra step uh, to make sure that the jelly is clear, I am going to filter it one more time. Make sure to do this while the mixture is hot. At this point, make sure to start sterilizing your cans if you are planning to preserve them.
if you would like to see a video with the canning techniques you can let me know in comment section below Do try this recipe at home and take a picture and send it to me on Instagram or you can tag me on Instagram at taste in a platter. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and do share it with your friends on social media and thank you for watching again. Stay safe, stay tuned.